everyone. Um, I'm here with another recipe for you guys. Um, I'm working from home today, so when I do that, I typically like to um, get a slow cooker meal going if I can take a quick break and uh, get one started. It really saves me time uh, later on in the evening. So today I'm making a pot roast uh, in the slow cooker, and I'm going to use my essential oils to season the pot roast. Uh, so I thought I'd show you how I go about doing that. So, over here I have uh, all my kind of vegetables prepped and ready. I have um, a couple potatoes, some onion, carrots, and then mushroom. In my slow cooker I've got the liquid, so I have uh, some beef broth, some minced garlic, and then I actually added about probably half a cup of Coca-Cola, which sounds kind of weird, but um, it adds a nice sweetness to the roast and also the acidity um, helps to make it really tender. So just a little bit of that, I had a little bit left in the bottom of the bottle, so I threw that in as well. And then I have my roast here, so a beef pot roast. I've seared it on the stove, so a really hot pan, uh, just to give it a sear, and then that will help uh, lock the flavor and the juices in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and season that with my oils. So I've decided to use uh, rosemary and thyme. So I have my rosemary here and my thyme. I'm going to go ahead and take off the lids just to get them ready because my hands are going to get a bit messy. And when I'm marinating or seasoning um, a cut of meat, uh, like beef with the oils, I like to just use my hands and rub it all over the meat itself. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few drops of each in my hand and then I'm just going to rub them together and then rub that all over the beef. Um, so I have my thyme here. I'll do two drops of each um, pot roast and then two drops of rosemary and I'm just going to rub them together in my hands to blend them and then pick up my roast. <laughs> Feels kind of weird, um, but just rub all over the outside so that it gets a good, nice coating. And the reason I use two drops is just because um, I know there's going to be a bunch of the oil left over on my hands, um, so that way I can control and make sure that probably half of the oil is getting on the beef, but I know some's going to be wasted a little bit, so I put a little bit extra. All right, so that's got a good even rub all over it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the liquid in the slow cooker, and then I'm going to go and just sprinkle my vegetables all around and kind of fit them in where they go. I'm just using a small slow cooker because it's just my boyfriend and I, so that's going to be plenty. I'll kind of fit the rest in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on uh, low, slow cooking for about eight hours, um, and it'll be ready later for us. Um, so hopefully you like that video, and don't be scared to use your uh, essential oils to season your meat or whatever you're cooking. If a recipe calls for a certain herb, all I do is basically break out my oils and use those instead. Um, so let me know if you like this video or if you have any questions. Um, I can post the recipe that I use below as well. Thanks, guys.